Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Power Rangers Legacy Lord Draken and the Throne, which were exclusive to Power Morphicon. Uh, they're separate things, you had to buy them separately, so um, don't be confused. I'm reviewing two separate items all at once because one is just the throne, that's the box for the throne right there, and that's the figure packaging right there. It's actually a sleeve that comes off and it looks mostly like the standard legacy packaging. If you're into that, you can do that. Uh, the artwork looks way better than the figure, QC on the figure is not very good, and otherwise it's just okay, so... I don't know. We're gonna go over it, so let's just go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands just about, let's say, 17 and a half to the top of his head, not counting anything that's sticking up to make it a little bit taller. And that's going to make him just about 6 and 3 quarter inches. And he's almost completely molded in white plastic, so that's generally a good thing. They didn't have to really paint any white. They painted the gold in a nice metallic gold, the green's a nice metallic green. Overall, the paint job's pretty good, really no issues there. The uh, helmet itself has decent detail on it too. The sculpt's a little bit soft. But the paint works clean enough that it still looks okay. Doesn't look anywhere near as cool as the box art, but it's alright. The paintwork is pretty clean for the chest as well. Same thing for the belt. Really no issues with the paint. There is, however, an issue with the overall quality control. Mine is super floppy. The arms aren't so bad. They're not, like, limp. The torso is almost completely limp, the ab crunch. I guess some people are having issues with the legs. This one's not so bad on mine. This one's a little bit loose, but it's still not that bad. But overall, the torso is by far the biggest issue. It's very, very flaccid, and that's not a good thing. It does still look really cool, and I guess since I have the throne, I'll probably keep him in the throne anyway, so it's not the biggest of deals. But it's still kind of crappy that they went through all the hassle of molding a, a mostly new figure as a, as a special exclusive, and then it's super, super loose. Also, the white plastic is kind of glossy, and it's a little bit weird. I, I'm assuming it's mostly PVC, that's what it seems like, but it's like, this part should be palm or ABS. And it's really glossy. The legs are still kind of glossy. It's all kind of bendy. I don't know. It's like they used a weird a weird plastic on it. And I don't understand why they would have done that. Also, I feel like the, the chest piece should be slightly repositioned. It doesn't quite sit right. But that's not super noticeable. So it's not that big of a deal. It's just there's a lot of room for the neck. And generally speaking, the collar should be up higher for his neck piece. But whatever. As far as accessories go for the actual figure, we get the Dragon Dagger, which is surprisingly well done. Very nicely done. It's a little bit of a soft sculpt, but the paints are clean. And then we also have Saba, which is, again, very nicely done. They painted the blade nicely. The cat part is pretty good, too, so that's pretty good. And then we have just the two hands that come on him. Just the two gripping hands. No, like, alternate hands for sitting on the throne or fighting or anything. Just the two gripping hands. So it's a fairly basic figure. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the throne real quick. It's solid. It's like polystone or something like that. I'm not sure. I guess it could just be PVC. It doesn't really sound or feel like PVC, but it's possible. I'm not sure what this is. It does have a little bit of that extra harder feel to it, like like polystone, but I don't know. I'm more into plastics. I don't know that much about the other things. I know polystone's kind of like a plastic. It's not actually stone, but... That's why I think that's what it is. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. It's heavy, it's solid, and it's hard. It's got a decent enough sculpt, and it's got some gray dry brushing with a little bit of brownish-red dry brushing around the top, and then a little bit more down here at the bottom. So it's, it's okay. And as far as him sitting in it, you saw it in the beginning. There's a little bit too much height for between the butt and the arms. It's a little tricky for him to do it without having his arms completely straight forward, which I know is kind of how he's drawn a lot of the time but it's just a little bit awkward to get him to sit in it without it looking awkward but it can be done so i guess that's okay it's not terrible and since he's got really loose joints i guess that's going to be a good option um, but yeah i really would have liked just some hands to make it look like he's got his hands on the arm of the chair rather than like he's trying to hold his weapons but maybe if you just posed him holding his weapons it'd, it'd be okay but either way, it's not bad. Like, it, it still looks cool. And for the actual price it costs, it's not too bad. Of course, if you're like me, you paid extra to have somebody get it for you on eBay or something like that. So, it's, I mean, objectively, it's really not worth that price. But subjectively, it is. So, that's why people are doing it. That's why I did it. And I imagine many more people are still going to do it after seeing this review and knowing that he does have QC issues. They still want it, just like I do. And I get that. 
Anyway, as far as articulation goes, we have a hinge for the neck, but because the, the chest piece is so far forward, you can't lean the head back very far at all. You can only lean it down, and it still doesn't go that far. You do get your rotation out of it. Shoulders go all the way out to the side. Of course, the armor is going to get in the way going forward. You have your bicep swivel, which works no problem. Double jointed elbow doesn't work very well, simply because we have this green thing on here, which definitely gets in the way, but you still get better than 90. Ball hinge for the wrists, so you can pose the hands pretty well. Rotate those around. And he can hold the weapons pretty effectively, so that's a good thing. You already saw the diaphragm, or the ab crunch. Waist twist is okay, no real issues there. The legs don't go all that far forward because of the sculpt, and they are kind of loose, as you already saw. But they do do the splits pretty nicely. Thigh swivel's okay. Double jointed knee, not too restricted by the green thing. And then for the ankles, not very much range at all going forward, just a little bit going back. And then you do get your ankle rocker, but it's at a very severe angle, so it's kind of not that good. Eh, without having a boot swivel to make up for that, the ankle hinge is not very good. So yeah, it's not it's not an especially good figure. It looks kind of cool because the design is kind of cool and they didn't screw up the paint or anything. The sculpt's okay, it matches the rest of this line. But it's still not an especially good figure. Uh, it's kind of a shame that they're going out with kind of a whimper rather than a bang. Yeah, that's, a, that's a reference for you. I mean, to make Lord Draken in the first place was kind of a big deal. And then the fact that they're getting rid of the license, or losing the license, or whatever the case may be, to Hasbro in the very near future, kind of a big deal. You would think that they'd want to really go out strong, and this is, it's just a mediocre showing, honestly. It's not bad, it's not good, it definitely has a lot of bad things about it, it does have some good things about it, so it's, it's okay. It's acceptable, and that's really about as much as I can say about it, so... Uh, there it is, guys. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you uh, are new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, you may want to because I have new videos up almost every single day. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you come back for that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.